All right, YouTube, we're back for round four. Edits the format, epic cards and games. We got Rocky on the left uh, playing quick draw, frog plants. We saw him round one. He won. Or it was round two. I don't remember. But anyway, he's going up against Ryan Nide. Ryan is playing, I think, a... I don't even... It's a Dark Creator Neo Spacian deck. So <laughs> we'll see how, how this deck works. I think he got it from Carpath's channel. For those of you guys who may watch Carpath. We'll see. I, don't, I have no idea what this deck is going to do, but I... There's, like, only, like, four cards that I don't know what they are. But, anyway. Wait, what happened? Did he... So, he swapped frogs. Foolish is dandy. Let me keep track of life, because Ryan's calculator isn't that great. Well, I mean, it's a great calculator. It just doesn't look good on camera. So he foolishes, he foolishes this card. What's this card's name? Cross Porter. And let's see what this card does. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Neo Space a monster from your deck to your hand, and he adds the Dark Panther. This card's a Dark Panther for this spell. It's like a Destiny draw for Neo Space. That's what uh, Ryan told me it does. Yeah, send two Neo Space monsters, one from hand and one from your deck to the graveyard, then draw two cards. So he sends this Glow Moss, Neo Spacian Glow Moss. What does this card do? So it's a light monster. And he summons Armageddon Knight, sent another Cross Porter. Um, so what's Cross Porter going to do? He's going to add a Neo Spacian. So he adds Aqua Dolphin. This is going to be a weird duel because I don't... And I, I did speed it up quite a bit because I think Rocky had to read all his cards. So, yeah. He attacks into, what, one of the tokens? And Ryan passes. Oh, man. <laughs> What's up with this deck? <clears throat> So, Rise of the Armageddon. Do you want to do that? Okay, so I think that's first damage. No gores or trag from Ryan's part. And Rocky... Oh, he's got Solemn Judgment. Two back rows. Dupe, Treeborn. So, Rocky's hand is not that great. Let's see what Ryan could do. I see Dark Creator in his hand. So, that's I guess that's how he fuels the, the graveyard for... He like foolish is cross porter, summon armor again and I, and then D draws with the Neo Spacian card. I kinda get it. it. Seems like an interesting deck. Dark Crater is just such a good card. The issue is just I don't know. We haven't seen Norlaris be that that successful as it was like maybe uh, when Edison started a few years ago. <clears throat> okay, so another Armageddon that Rocky put back, and now he dumps Plague. Oh, he runs Junk Synchron in there as well. Okay. So how many darks? He's got like two Cross Porters and one Armageddon. Will the Plague? No, no. This is I don't think this is five darks. One, two, three, four. No, he's got four, I'm pretty sure. He needs one more. So the Goyo gets bottomless. And then Ryan sets Solemn and something else. Okay, I think it's looking decent for Ryan. Because Rocky's hand is looks really bad. It's like Treeborn, Swap Frog, and another card. And Dupe. So he's got... See, this is the problem with the Frog deck. It's one of the reasons why I just... I, I don't know. I know I won the, this giant rescue cat behind me with frogs, but man, the deck's been letting me down lately. It just, I don't know. I think it was just my day to win that at Indianapolis, but ever since ever since then, man, this deck, I, I'm just getting destroyed. I also think the side deck's a big issue with frogs. It's just, there's too many cards. Anyway, let's get back to the duel. So he torrentials. Okay, so that's a good one. So he has Solemn. A normal summon swap. I think Ryan's in a good spot. 
He has a solemn for that back row. Oh, he's getting rid of the dupe. <laughs> yeah, I'd get rid of that dupe too. You don't want to draw it. Does this man even play substitute? I don't. I don't think I saw it. He might not even play substitute. Extra summon dupe. He didn't give him his deck to cut. People got people have called me out for that. It just happens. Sometimes you forget to give your opponent, uh, let your opponent cut. I don't think he's doing anything malicious. It just happens. Tribute for another Ryza. And then Ryan Solems. So Ryan's now at 16. <clears throat> nope, that dupe misses timing. I'm pretty sure Ryan just needs to get that dark rip. And he had to waste the solemn on the on the Ryza. What monster did he said that he had to waste the solemn on it? Maybe because he there was no way he could get a fifth dark. Let's see what Ryan. Ryan's got like brain control. Well, at least his break control. Oh, he passed? I think he drew Caius, but he can't bring back his frog because his back row is locked. <laughs> yeah, if only that back row wasn't locked. So swap. Swap, dump, swap. Okay, Ryan, hit the back row, hopefully. Oh, you hit the swap? What? I'm surprised he didn't go for the back row. Oh, he has it. Maybe he had MST the whole time, so he doesn't care about the back row. That's possible. I just saw it in his hand. Hmm. I did speed up this duel quite a bit, but like I said, this this is the first time Brian's played this deck. You guys have seen him. He's been on the channel a bunch. He always plays Machina. But I think he was taking a break. So he chose heavy over MST. He's probably going to hold MST. And then here comes creator. Creator. What is he going to bring back? Okay, Gores. So creators, what, 2,000 attack, 3,000 defense, right? Can he OTK him? I don't even know what spell that is. He has normal summon. Doesn't he still have Aqua Dolphin? So he could have got the last card out of his hand, right? Doesn't he have Aqua Dolphin? No, it's Brain Control, MST... What do you have to discard for Aqua, Aqua Dolphin? Do you have to discard a monster? No. Once returning, you discard one card, look at your opponent's hand, and choose one monster. Oh, if you control a monster to attack greater than or equal to the attack of the chosen card, destroy the chosen card. And if you do inflict 500 damage to your opponent. But he's pretty low, so maybe he doesn't want to summon the Dolphin. It's understandable. I don't even know what that card does. Let's see. Okay, so Treeborn comes out. What did, what did Rocky Top deck? No, Debris, nice draw. Does he have something in there that can make a Black Rose? Yep. Oh, wow. My goodness, he top deck Debris Dragon. <laughs> Black Rose. Two tokens. So, let's see. Let me take life points off from... <clears throat> so, Ryan's at... No, Rocky's at 33 to Ryan's 16. And then here comes the the spell... The Destiny draw, but you, you Foolish as well. So you discard a Neospatian and Foolish a Neospatian from your deck. And draw two. And we know he's got Brain Control. Mirror, so he drew Mirror Force. Brain Control, and I think Chaos Sorcerer. It looks like Chaos Sorcerer. What's the light? Raiko? Yeah, Raiko and what he banished? Panther. Attack one of the tokens. Set Mirror Force. Okay, Ryan might still be able to come back, but that Black Rose hurt him really bad. 
Heavy? Gosh. <laughs> what? That's... that. I can't believe that happened. That was crazy, but Rocky somehow won that game. So game two, this uh, Ryan's going first. Rota, probably Armageddon or Junk. Yeah, Armageddon dumped the Panther. Or, sorry, Cross Porter. That's a very interesting idea. Get What does this Cross Porter do? Yeah, when it's sent to the graveyard, you add one Neo Spacey monster from your deck to your hand. So it makes the the, the Neo Spacey and D draw live, like, right away. I wonder, probably this deck plays triple Armageddon, I'm guessing, or at least two. It passed? You didn't set Torrential? I guess you don't want to set it now. Nah, why not? Unless you have Gores. Uh-oh. Ryan should have set Torrential. Now that that does Rocky play Titanium? Okay. Luckily, but he got dandy. I actually think Rocky took Titanium out of his deck. Or this deck doesn't play it, it makes sense. Cause it's more of a frog deck. You try a tribute from Monarchs, just not you're not really trying to summon Titanium. Oh, trap does shoot. Okay, his hand is Junk, Chaos Sorcerer, Aqua Dolphin, Gores, and Dark Panther. So, can he make this deck dev live? He doesn't have a light, so Chaos Sorcerer, Gores. Maybe that's a reason he didn't want to set Torrential. He's trying to drop Gores. So, he returns Junk Synchron. <clears throat> now what do you do? I don't even know what this Aqua Dolphin does. It it uh I know you discard a card, look at your opponent's hand and choose one monster. If you control a monster to attack greater than or equal to attack of the chosen card, destroy the chosen card. Oh, so you have to have a big monster with it. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Now it makes sense. So you can't just summon Dolphin by itself. You need another monster with it. Okay, so he discards the Quick Draw by pitching Panther. And Rocky's got like Caius, Brain Control, and a few other cards. So gets rid of one token. So Ryan doesn't want to set Torrential, which I understand. You don't want to lose both your monsters. But here, Rocky's probably going to Caius him. Yeah, probably going to Caius his Armageddon. Have him take a thousand. Ooh, let me keep track of life. Yep, Caius. Or Ryza. Ooh, Ryza. And then attack for a thousand. <clears throat> so I have him 8,000, 7,000. Well, Rocky set Torrential now. But he knows... Ryan's got Torrential. He knows Ryan's got Deck Dev. He passes. Okay. So does Rocky attack into that Gores? Probably he's got Lightning Vortex in hand. Which is going to turn off. Is going to turn off. So Ryan won't be able to activate that Deck Dev. Yeah. Oh, he brains. Okay, he, this is another play. I thought he was going to use Lightning Vortex. Instead, he brains. Tributes for Caius, and Ryan takes a thousand. Yeah. So we, I have seventy two thirty six. Rocket you pretty good. I mean, two monarchs, brain control. Ryan's got like torrential. Well, at least he can always torrential himself if he can survive a turn to get rid of both those monarchs. So attacked into Plague, and then to, oh my, Ryan's now at 12, so Ryan might have to torrential himself here. Let's see, he's got Plague, Armageddon, uh, Aqua Dolphin, 
I think he's got like three darks. Okay, Dag Dev. Yeah, he's pro I'm guessing he's going to have to Torrential himself to survive. Yeah, Aqua Dolphin, Chaos Sorcerer, Deck Dev. Also, these both these guys are X1, so the winner of this is most likely going to get into the top four. So I think, if I remember what happened, there was uh, one... There's Sometimes there's only one X1 that doesn't make top four. Depending on the amount of people we have, so... Yeah, I, I'm thinking that one of the, one X1 didn't make it. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was Luigi. Yeah, Luigi, I think, was the one who didn't make it. Yeah. Okay, so he tops for Plague. Oh, okay, so he does have two options. What is Aqua Dolphin? A three? Yeah, Aqua Dolphin's a three, so he goes for a five here. What five? Android? What if Rocky Bottomless is here? <laughs> He's going to chain Torrential. Oh, he had Dark Arm. Oh, I didn't know he had Dark Arm. Priority pop Ryza. Pop the Caius. And the back row, which was Mirror Force. Oof. Well, our boy Dark Armed steals potentially another game like it usually does. So now Rocky's at 2,000 to Ryan's 12. But did, did, did I see Lightning Vortex? I think I saw Lightning Vortex in his hand. So Rocky would have won if he would have kept that brain control. If he would have Lightning Vortexed the, the Gores instead. Which I thought he was going to do. But I like the brain control. Brain controlling and then tripping for Kais was good as well. Especially because you know Ryan has Torrential. So I think Rocky did the right move. Yeah, here comes the Lightning Vortex Pitch Caius, and he chains Deck Dev. So now they're both top decking, basically. Ryan's got Torrential, and... Oh, yeah, he topped the Chaos Sorcerer. I forgot about that. That's the card he top decked for Plague, and that's game right there. That was a weird game. Good, good job to Ryan. Getting to top... Not top four, sorry. Getting to game three with this deck. This interesting deck. <clears throat> All right, Rocky's T sets. Dust shoot again? I thought he was going to flip Dust shoot again. <laughs> he's looking like he's about to flip it. He's got Avarice, Wing Blast in hand. Oh, he does have Dust shoot, man. <laughs> okay. All right, so Ryan's hand is Dark Arm, Junk Synchron, and that Neo Space. And you got to get rid of that card because then his hand is dead. Yeah, get rid of that card. All he has is Mirror Force. Yeah, good move. Because that Dark Arm is going to hit the field if you don't get rid of that card. Oh, yeah, because he get And then the, that card makes Junk Synchron live. The Chaos Sport, the Cross Porter, he can get it with Junk. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, that was the card to get. And Ryan passes. What's his face down? They both drew Brain Control. <laughs> Lone Fire. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure Rocky doesn't play Titanium. Ryan's hand is not good. That's just Trap Dust Shoot, man. If your hand, a lot of times your hand is an Edison, your hand, you got like one good card or one good play, and then Dust Shoot just takes it away. Look at that. Dust Shoot won. I'm not saying won Rocky this game, but Ryan was in a pretty good spot until that Dust Shoot came down. Okay, Foolish. Ooh, maybe he might be able to come back. So he's going to Foolish Cross Porter. Yep. And add a Neo Spacian. <clears throat> and now the, that D draw. So Dark Arm might hit the field again. Yep, that's two Darks right there. Guaranteed. Well, I think... Can you send any for this spell? Oh, yeah. He might just drop Dark Arm on him right here, right? So discard Panther. 
Yeah, discard Panther. Can you just send another Panther? Yeah, okay, so Dark Arm's coming down. Yep, Rocky. Rocky's checking his graveyard. Yeah, he already knows. Dark Arm's making another appearance. And pop the face down monster, which is Treeborn. What's he gonna pop now? The back row. Yeah. Let's see if each two. Oh, chain wing blast. Okay. Discard the dead avarice. Now Ryan's got one dark. Can he do anything else? Oh yeah, that's good. So this is a five. Make a third dark. <laughs> yeah, he <it> did. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're good. There's got to hope. Hope Rocky doesn't have Caius. We know he's got brain control. Oh, he's got Lad. Oh, he might just drop Lad on him. Ooh, that. That's okay, though, because you can just drop Dark Armed and attack over the Lad. Force him to negate something. Oh, he's got e Econ. All right, so he brain controls the, ca the Catastor. Why? Why brain? Just drop lad, right? No, I think I think he has to, because then he has to negate catastor. And yeah, no, I think you have to brain the here. Never mind. And Ryan Solemn, that that might come back to bite him just because he's so low. Yeah, so seventy-two, four thousand, econ. Yep. Actually, I think Ryan might be in trouble now. Tribute both for Lad. Oh, and Ryan just takes a 28. But we know he's got three darks, so he could just drop dark armed. Can he force him to negate once? Yeah, can he force Rocky to negate one time? Wait, didn't he have mirror force? We'll see at the end. Hopefully Ryan shows us that back row. Okay, brain. So now Ryan's at 400. That might hurt him. So he's going to check to see what he's going to get back with Lad. And here comes Dark Armed again. All right, 67 to 400. And he's got Lightning Vortex and some other spell in hand. Maybe he wanted to save the Mirror Force to protect his Dark Armed. If uh, if he knew he had a way to deal with the, with the Lad. Okay. Let's see. Treeborn, Dandy. Kaius hurts here. Kaius is just game. But he's got Avarice and another spell. And... I think it's MST. So he has Avarice MST. Okay, so probably the back row, but I, maybe he's a little scared of a, another wing blast. But I think you have to. Then you change MST. Yeah, yeah. So it was. I was positive it was a mirror force. Okay, come on, Ryan. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, man. <laughs> All right, so it could, gets rid of Dandy. Oh, he can vortex him here. Pitches the pitches the most likely dead uh, vortex. So I have him 67, 39 to 400. What did he draw? Was it Caius? It looked like a dark monster. I just don't know what. Does he have Pot of Avarice as well? Is his Avarice live? Don't tell me he topped that Caius. Ah, I'm going to be so mad if he topped that Caius. I mean, they're both kind of top decking. Oh, yeah. What a top deck. GG's. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that duel. Rocky did make it to top four, but he ends up losing in top four, so he will not be there for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, he lost in top four. 
He lost to John Vigil. So we I have another matchup that's going to be on there. But John Vigil is going to be in the finals. We'll be back soon. Bye, guys.